In this problem, we are once again in the horizontal system, but there is a difference. For the first time, I introduce you a problem where there are two springs instead of one. So this object is connected to two springs. The other end of the first spring is connected to the left one and the other end of the second spring is connected to the right one. The surface is frictionless. In this situation, if you provide a small displacement to this object to the left or to the right, you have to find out whether this object would undertake simple harmonic motion. That would be the first step of the problem. Let me write down over here. This is the first part of the problem. And as second step, of course, you have to find out what is omega, what is f, and what is t. Okay? So, this is the basic definition of the problem. But, before beginning to solve this problem, let me tell you that in those situations where you have multiple number of springs, here we have two springs, we may have three springs, four springs, whatever. In those situations where you have multiple number of springs connected to a particular object, there are certain instances where these multiple number of springs can be replaced by just one spring, okay? Or we call it as equivalent spring, okay? So, maybe this situation where we have two springs connected to this object, this, the behavior of this object under these two springs can be replaced by a single spring where this object would behave in the same manner as connected to two springs. Let me repeat. Here, the object is connected to two springs, okay? There would be a force provided by the right spring, there would be a force provided by the left spring. As a result, the object would have certain acceleration, velocity, displacement, whatever, okay? What I am saying is maybe these two springs can be replaced by a different spring, okay, whose spring constant is, let's say, some k equivalent. The other spring is not there, but the effect of the single spring would be same as the effect of both the springs. So, in this situation, you would get acceleration, velocity, displacement, and this acceleration, velocity, and displacement would be absolutely same as the acceleration, velocity, and displacement that you get over here. They are absolutely same. We call this as an equivalent spring of these two springs. Why just two springs? You can have two, three, four springs, and you may get an equivalent spring for all those four spring system. Okay? Let me tell you that this is not always true. There will be specific instances where this is going to be true. Two very, very important situations where this is true is when springs are connected in series and when springs are connected in parallel. Okay? You must have been introduced to these terms, series connection, parallel connection, and equivalent system of series and parallel in circuit theory. You have resistances which are connected in series or which are connected in parallel. Okay. They can be replaced by equivalent resistances. Similar is the fact over here. But identification of whether the springs are connected in series or in parallel is very, very important in order to replace. So, what we would be also doing is, in the follow-up video, we would be solving this problem as well as we would be identifying whether the system is parallel or series. We would be identifying that and also find out the equivalent spring 
constant in this system. We would find out whether we can replace this object by a single spring of equivalent spring constant and find out what that equivalent spring constant would be. So please jump into the follow-up video for a very very important discussion on series or parallel connection of springs and also analyzing this simple harmonic case over there. Thank you.